Volunteers from our area are aiding in the search and rescue effort. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. Officials say more than 2,000 rescues have been made since Harvey made landfall Friday. Thousands more are still waiting for help to arrive. The storm is being blamed for at least three deaths in Texas. Authorities say a tree killed a woman today after it fell on her trailer home. President Trump will visit the disaster zone tomorrow. He's pledged rapid federal assistance to those affected by the storm. Recovery will be a long and difficult road, and the federal government stands ready, willing and able to support that effort. Right now, the single most important thing is the safety and security of those still in harm's way, including the first responders who have been so terrific and brave. A Philadelphia woman is among the thousands stranded by the storm in Houston. A.B. Kurzban has been stuck at an airport hotel since Saturday. She was headed to Aruba and Caraco when her trip was cut short. I keep saying I'm actually pretty lucky. I think I've been watching all the cars that are buried up until their rearview mirrors outside. And I think that I'm so fortunate that my property has been fine. Like myself, I'm not in harm's way. My, I don't have a car here. I don't have a house that's being flooded. I mean, I have... Fritos and vitamin water, and I'm sitting in a hotel bed, so it could be worse. She also told us the first floor of her hotel experienced some flooding that forced her to change rooms. The situation